It's been a while since I've been on here. The reason why, because I just want to take some time to myself, just to reflect on some things, reflect on life, appreciate life more. I've been working a lot, so I want to take some time off just to enjoy this new space that I'm in. And I would strongly recommend a lot of you do the exact same thing. So a lot of things have changed in my life. I'm sure a lot of things have changed in your life. A lot of things have changed in this world. A lot of changes have taken place in various religious organizations, especially in the Jehovah's Witness organization. But I've always would come in and just tap in just to read some of the comments that people would write on the things that I posted. Some of them were positive, some of them were negative, and I can tell a lot of things that I said really triggered some emotions. But one thing I know about the truth is that the truth will always trigger emotions. That's a fact. But there's one post that I actually, actually was just reading today. And I saw it several times from different people. And the comment was, being a Jehovah Witness is the best life ever. I'm not here to refute that. I'm not here to say being a Jehovah Witness is the wrong thing to do. I would never tell anyone not to become a Jehovah Witness. I would not tell anyone not to become a Baptist or a Catholic or a Mormon or a Muslim. You're free to do whatever you want to do. You're free to choose whatever religion you want to be a part of. My question is to the person or persons that made that, that statement is, what is it about being a Jehovah Witness that make you feel that it's the best life ever? I'm just curious. The reason why I ask that question because when you say being a Jehovah Witness is the best life ever, what you're saying is that the only way that you can be happy, the only way that you can have a great, successful life is that you become a Jehovah Witness. And that is a very false statement. Let me say something. Being a part of the Jehovah Witness organization doesn't guarantee you the best life ever. Let me tell you what makes your life great. When you are a productive citizen, that makes your life great. When you abide by the laws set forth by your country, by your state, by your city, when you abide by those laws, your life will always be better than those who don't. You see, God gave us the Bible, and in the Bible, he has a lot of laws, a lot of commandments. He has instructions. He gave us the Bible to guide us, to direct us. And if you follow those guidelines that he set forth in the scriptures, if you follow those laws, if you obey his commandments, if you follow his direction, it's that that's going to make your life better than other people. It has absolutely nothing to do with the religion. I know people that are not Jehovah's Witnesses and they have great lives. I know some Jehovah Witnesses personally that are really going through it and they have some miserable lives. So to say that being a Jehovah Witness is the best life ever, well, if that's your opinion, that's fine. But to state that as a fact, you're kidding yourself. You see, if you leave the Jehovah Witness organization, if you still follow the rules and the, the laws that God has set forth for us to follow in the Bible, if you never step foot in another kingdom hall ever again, and you decide not to go join another religion, if you decide that you're going to 
follow exactly the direction that God gave us in the Bible. If you decide that you're going to abide by the laws that God has set forth for you, your life is going to be better. For example, when God say, you shall not murder, you should not commit adultery, you should not commit fornication, you, you should not lie, you should not steal, you should count the cost before you build. You should honor your, your father and, and your mother. Children, be obedient to your parents. If you never step foot in another kingdom hall, ever, for the rest of your life, if you never join another religion, for the rest of your life, if you never say another prayer, for the rest of your life, if you learn to count the cost before you build, like God tells us to, you will make better financial decisions. That will make your life better than other people around you. If you choose to follow the law where God says do not commit adultery, then chances are your family will most likely be intact. That would grant you a better life than other people who choose not to do that. If you decide to live by the law that say you should not fornicate well chances are if you choose not to have sex before you get married that's a great chance your life probably would end up better than those who chose to fornicate like those who may have contracted HIV or gonorrhea or, or syphilis or had unwanted pregnancies if you chose not to have sex before marriage, before marriage, your life can possibly be better than those who made the decision to have sex before marriage and may have, and you may have avoided some of the pitfalls and some of the heartaches and some of the pains that they did not avoid. That has absolutely nothing to do with what religion you are a part of. If children were to obey their parents and listen to their parents, then a lot of these kids would not grow up and become criminals. Would not be running the streets. Would not be in prison serving time. That has absolutely nothing to do with being a Jehovah's Witness. That has everything to do with following the directions and the guidelines that God has put forth for us to follow in the Bible. Now, I don't want to sound preachy. I don't want to sound like I'm judging people. And I don't want to sound like I'm this preacher over here. I'm just stating the facts. It's not your religion. It's not your organization. It's not your preacher. It's not your pastor. It's not your bishop. It's not the elders. It's not the governing body. It's not the ministerial servant. It's not no religion or anything. None of that guaranteed that your life is going to be better. So becoming a Jehovah Witness or remaining a Jehovah's Witness does not grant you the greatest life ever. It's following the guidelines that God has set forth for us in the Bible. Following the examples that are in the Bible. Reading and following the commandments and the laws that God has given us to guide us in life. That is what will grant you a better life than many of those around you. Being a Jehovah's Witness has absolutely nothing to do with how great your life is. Your life is contingent on the decisions that you make personally. Y'all be easy.